Hi, this is Darren with another tips and tricks video. Today I've got my uh, camera set up here on Beersmith. I often get questions on how do I import Beersmith recipes directly into BrewBoss. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is find a recipe or create your own recipe uh, using Beersmith or uh, Brewer's Friend Online or any beer uh, recipe creating program that you have that will export a beer XML type file. Uh, so you can see I've got this set up here. I've got a 10-gallon uh, batch of an, I, an American IPA that I like to make. Uh, I've got it set up for a BrewBoss profile. Uh, if you don't know where the BrewBoss profiles are, they're in File, Add-ons. And I don't know if you can see this, but if you, once you click Add-ons, it'll bring up um, what you already have installed. And right now I have the BrewBoss equipment installed. Uh, but you can hit add, and if you don't have the BrewBoss in there, it will be in the in the Beersmith uh, list of add-ons. It's part of Beersmith. Uh, so I'm going to close that. So you select your, your proper equipment, which would be your BrewBoss system, the size that you have and the size batch that you're going to make. And you want to make sure your mash is set up properly. As you can see, I've got my mash in at 151. I have no mash out on this one. Um, it's a single step light type IPA, um, but if you do a, a, um, a different type of mash profile, it'll show up over here. Uh, that will be transferred directly to the app, uh, the BrewBoss app. So basically what you wanna do is go to where that recipe is stored. Um, I'll go back into the recipe here, the American RPA, and hit the okay on the top with the little green check mark. That will bring you back to your recipes. I'm gonna go to my recipes, right click on the recipe that you're working on and you'll see a pop-up menu come up and what I'm looking for is the export selected. So I'm going to hit export and it's very important here in the save as type to select beer XML file and then give it a name and I'm just going to call it IPA uh, to be simple here and put it somewhere where you know you can find it. Uh, I'll make a new folder in my documents called beer xml and then i'll be able to find it and i'm going to save it as ipa okay uh, the next thing you want to do is make sure that you have a and i've got it in here already a usb uh, memory stick i'm going to go to my documents into beer xml and you'll see my ipa i'm going to right click on that and copy it and my memory stick is drive F. You'll see I've created an XML file in there. I'm hoping you can see this on the video. And I'm gonna right click and paste. I now have the XML file in my, on my memory stick. And if you don't have an OTG cable uh, for your tablet, you can get one. Um, or if your tablet has a direct input for a USB host, I'm going to put my memory stick into the tablet. And I will see if I can get a little bit closer here. There we go. And what I use is ES File Explorer to copy that file over. I'm going to go into here. And I'm going to load the USB host file. And you'll see the beer XML files that I've just created. And I'm going to long hold on that. You can use any file manager on Android you want. And down at the bottom here, you'll see the word copy. I'm going to do a copy. And then I'm going to go back to the device, SD card, BrewBoss, Beer XML, and I'm going to hit the paste button down at the bottom. And you'll see my IPA.XML showed up uh, in that folder. So any Beer XML file that you bring in, using a memory stick or whatever needs to go into this beer, brew boss beer XML file. And in ES File Explorer, you look for the SD card, uh, which is the internal memory of the tablet itself. I'm going to go home here. I'm gonna get out of this app, hitting back. I'll just go home. I'm gonna run the brew boss app. Now you don't need to be connected to a controller right here. And in fact, I'm not connected to a controller. We'll let the BrewBoss app load. And then I'm gonna go into the file menu, which is the three dots on the top here or the menu button over here. 
and I'm going to be, go to convert beer XML to brew steps. And you'll see that my file IPA.xml shows up in here. All of them will show and this will be a scrolling list where you can scroll up and down looking for the one you want. I'm going to hit the IPA XML and hit OK. It's going through the process right now of converting it and when it's done it will bring up the brew steps for that brew recipe uh, that you create in beer XML. And there we go. Now this is a little bit hard to see and I've got my spell checker on, which made it take a little longer. You're going to want to turn your spell checker off. Um, but basically, it's telling me to add 7.2 gallons of water. Um, you can see it's heating to 151 degrees here. Um, 153 was the strike temperature. It maintains that 151, then goes right up to boil. You can see there's only one mash step here. And then you'll see it's adding the uh, hops at the proper times here. Um, for the entire process. Now, one of the important things here is if you have a hops boss, you need to make sure that your hops boss is enabled before you run this conversion. If your hops boss is enabled in your parameters, and I'm going to go ahead and save my changes here. And you go into the edit parameters, which is uh, right here in the menu. You want to make sure that your enabled hops boss is checked. If that is checked, it will automatically generate your hops boss, your hops additions using the hops boss and determine the number of cups in the hops boss automatically. So that's a really nice feature to have. And you'll see up here that the current brew step file is now my IPA.step that it created. Now it's very important when you create your recipes that none of your ingredients can have commas in the names of the ingredients. Um, this system uses comma delimited files in the background and it will look at a comma as starting a new ingredient. Uh, so it will really be difficult when you're reading a beer XML file um, if you have any commas, just like we state for your step descriptions, you can never have a comma in your, in your step description. So that's basically it. It's very simple. It's not perfect. There are a lot of different, you know, there's an infinite number of permutations and combinations of ingredients and, and hop additions um, that you can use. So it's not going to be perfect, but it sure gives you a good start uh, with most recipes. Just avoid commas. Uh, one other thing, it will not do flame out hops. If you need a flame out hop and you want it automatically added or you want it to remind you, um, you need to make that at least one minute before the end of boil. Uh, it also ignores any dry hops. Obviously, dry hops have nothing to do with the brew process and Brew Boss um, is a brewing app. So the dry hops and everything will be ignored and not put into your file. Um, and you also have to start your first hop addition uh, at least at zero. You cannot put negative numbers in. Um, some people uh, you don't want to put some hops into the mash and that kind of thing. It will not handle those. Um, so, like I say, it's not perfect, but it sure gives you a good start, so give it a try. And if it gives you that start you need, great. If not, uh, unfortunately, you have to manually enter your steps. I hope this helped. Thanks much.